Hi, I'm Dr. Ray Benedetto, and I want to welcome you to another short video here where we're talking about all different aspects of thyroid function and different thyroid conditions, different problems that happen with thyroid that we see with our patients here in our clinic. What we're going to talk about on this brief video is the number one cause of hypothyroidism in the United States. And it's due to an autoimmune condition, an autoimmune thyroid condition. Um, it's also termed Hashimoto's thyroiditis. Uh, so may have, some of you have may, may have heard those terms. And it is the number one cause of hypothyroidism or an underfunctioning thyroid in our country, in the United States, really in most of the industrialized world. So, you know, you name it, Europe, Canada, you know, any, anywhere where we have um, first world countries, if you will number one cause. Now, what is it? Okay. What it is, is it's an autoimmune condition. What that means is that your immune system, which is designed to protect you against bad guys, is actually attacking your thyroid. Okay. Just like with any other autoimmune conditions, for instance, rheumatoid arthritis, very common one, your immune system is attacking your joints. That's what's happening multiple sclerosis, MS, your immune system is attacking your brain. Well, in, hypo, in uh, uh, Hashimoto's, uh, or an autoimmune thyroid condition, your immune system is attacking your thyroid. Okay? It's the most common autoimmune condition. It's the first one that was ever discovered by Dr. Hashimoto, of course. Um, but this is what's happening. We don't necessarily have a thyroid problem. I mean, we, we end up with a thyroid problem because that's what's being uh, damaged. We have an immune problem. My, why is my immune system attacking me? Why is it attacking my body? It's supposed to be protecting me from the bad guys, not thinking that my body is one of the bad guys. So this is what's happening. Your immune system is actually attacking your thyroid, and it's damaging over time. So, so over months and years, every time this happens, your, your thyroid gets damaged. And then once there's been enough damage done, now I'm going to start to show signs and symptoms, and, and um, things are going to start to show up on blood work because my other values are going to go off my TSH and all sorts of kind of stuff. Now, if this is the most common cause of hypothyroidism, why isn't it checked for every single time somebody has a thyroid symptoms, right? It's not. Sometimes it is, but a lot of times it's not. Um, this is huge. We need to know this. And this is what we treat. This is how we help our patients in our clinic is by identifying this, i.e. with proper diagnosis. Okay, I have hypothyroidism. Is this what's causing it? Odds are it is. Upwards of 90% of the time, this is the cause. Okay, it's it's grossly mismanaged. It's it's not checked. It's grossly underdiagnosed. It's not checked for a lot of times. And even if it is, nothing's done about it. Nothing's no one's being treated for it. Um, which and it's really the cause of the problem. And that's what we do. We have to fix that because that's the underlying cause. Until we do that and stop that from happening, patients can't get better. They could take all the synthroid in the world they want. It doesn't stop the attacks on the thyroid. So we need to get proper diagnosis. Once we have that. Then we need to figure out, okay, well, why is that happening? What's causing that? Why is, what's causing my immune system to attack my thyroid? That's not supposed to happen, okay? Which is where we look for these things that we call triggers. So then, once we have a diagnosis, we start digging in. And that's, that's the work we do with our patients. We start figuring out, okay, for you, what is, you know, what is it for you that's making my immune system do that? Is it, you know, a toxin? Is it a viral infection that I've ha I don't know I have? Is it a food sensitivity? There's lots of different things that we check for with patients, but that's the key. Number one cause of hypothyroidism, it needs to be checked for. And if it's there, which most of the time it is, it needs to be addressed. Because until we can get the immune system to stop attacking the thyroid, we can't, you can't get better. You can't get the problem under control and you can't get it managed. Not to mention that if this goes on for a long enough period of time, now my immune system starts looking for other targets. Now now it starts attacking maybe my gut and I get IBS or maybe my pancreas and I'm starting to get diabetes and whatever. You know, my brain, now I'm ending up with neurological problems. So it's the number one cause. It needs to be checked for, it needs to be properly diagnosed, and then it needs to be addressed. Because nothing else that's done, no medications that are given are gonna help fix the problem until we can get the immune system to stop attacking. Okay. Hope this was informative. If you have any questions, let us know. Um, just wanted to do a brief video so we couldn't get into too much more detail, but nuts and bolts right here. 
Hopefully this was helpful to you. If you have any questions, uh, please let us know. We'd be glad to help.